so this is an incredible piece of filmmaking. And it's one, I mean, it's my favorite film of the London Film Festival, one of my favorite films of the year. And a lot of people have been saying the same thing. I spoke to Trey about it earlier and I was wondering about your guys' opinion. When you guys are obviously in the movie, you're the, the leading roles. When you watch it, are you able to appreciate quite how good it is? Or is that still quite difficult? Is there still a bit of a disconnect when you've started it? Go for it. I, um, you know, I think we're always our worst critics. And when I saw this film, I thought, Oh, it's beautiful. I was so emotionally, it wasn't even about an acting, yeah. you know, am I good, is it good? I just was so blown away by the beauty of the storytelling and, um, and the message. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not difficult for me. Like, I, I watch everything like a fan, um, even when I'm in it. And I'm usually watching it mostly for the story and for my other castmates or what have you. But it, it is, like when everything happens in the movie, I'm right along with the audience. Like there's, there's a moment when you see Tyler like lift up a weight after he's already been diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ha! Yeah. What you doing? Like the whole wrestling match, like yes. after the diagnosis and he's just getting driven into the ground. Like I'm right there with the rest of the audience yeah. like, ah. The, then in the second half of the film, like after Emily and Ronald have their conversation, and then you see her dream about her brother, and she has this moment of release, and she leaves the hospital room and grieves her brother, weeping like a baby. Like a baby. Like, so I experience it the way that everybody else does. But is that just for this project, or is that, just, is that the case with, with most things you work? You in general, that's usually how I am. I, I, because here's the thing, like before I got into this business, I loved entertainment. I love film, I love television. So I can't stop watching it just because I'm in it. I, I love this stuff, you know, so yeah. But this is unique because this is a really unique filmmaker. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he's, he's a character in this movie. Um, the, the, the perspective of the camera and the storytelling is doing things on a whole other level in this movie. And, and I think I just, I mean, even knowing it, I learned watching this film. There, was, there, there are things that he's doing that I wasn't aware of that really are moving. Yeah, because I mean, when you have a quartet of performances as strong as this, you, ha you do then have to look to the director and think, what, what sort of atmosphere is he giving you to allow you to do this? So, I mean, Kelvin, you've worked with him obviously mm -hmm. before. What is it about him that's, that, that is producing such incredible performances on screen? I think it's just like he's egoless, honestly. He, yeah. he, Trey is so sweet and he has so much love and he's not afraid to be sensitive. He's not afraid to be who he is, you know. Trey has a lot of cats and, <laughs> he has a lot and of he's cats. not afraid and to say it. Movie. And they're in this movie. And it's like just small <laughs> little details that you wouldn't expect when you see this dude who's just like brolic and just like yeah, Mr. Dot. And you know what I mean? And loves like to listen to Kanye and Chris Kendrick Lamar. It's like you kind of think he's one person. He's not that at all. And I think it's that love and that ability to, to listen and understand and, and desire to, to get to know you and desire to, to, to get to know me. And he doesn't have to. That yeah. makes him so special. I also feel like he, he has a great deal of confidence in his casting mm -hmm. and that he's sort of that dude that believes that once you put the pieces together, like most of the work is done because he doesn't really overnote. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he, he may come in with like one or two things and it's pretty infrequently, but like he gives you a lot of space to play. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's probably his greatest asset. He's like, that was good. Let's do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, yes, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it again. Yeah, I think if, 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 if ever there was a film that was a, a good, say, a good argument for having a best casting Oscar, I think it's Waves, to be honest. Hey! Oh, so I'm oh, gushing sorry. today. I'm not usually like this. I'm usually more oh, professional. <laughs> but the characters, I mean, they're so uh, well fleshed out and so kind of nuanced and real. I'm just wondering if you automatically kind of assumed the same roles off screen, you know, the kind of the parents sort of roles and the kind of the older brother role. To, did you find off screen that you kind of sort of took on those, those same characteristics? Um, I don't, I mean, for Kelvin and I, we're so close and our birthdays are like five days apart. We're born the same year. <laughs> so, um, so maybe we did. Yeah, we She's definitely. She's more <laughs> <laughs> She's more the big sister. Oh my, well, we, I think we, 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 we switched switch. back and forth. We're like two sides of the same coin. So maybe in that aspect, but yeah, I don't know. I think, I think there's a reason why we're all cast in our characters and there's, there is art that imitates life and situations that are set up that are kind of divine that you don't, 
you wouldn't necessarily think like go towards a story, but in hindsight you can look back and, and realize they actually were set up to propel the story forward, which is really fascinating just in the way that we were cast also. So yeah, I think so. To your I question. feel that way definitely about him. Um, I, you know, I, he was talking earlier about the questions that he asks as an actor yeah. in his process. We spent so much time just talking. There, there are so many parallel experiences we have in our lives. Yeah. And um, it was so fun off camera just to talk about, you know, our marriages and our children yeah. and, and big things that have happened in our careers sure. and crazy things that have happened. And um, that I def definitely served the relationship. And, yeah. and when I look at them, I'm just, even now, so proud of them. Like they're, it's, if you think of Catherine coming into this family and trying to make a decision, am, am, I, am I going to, you know, do this thing and play this role, um, you would play that, you would choose to be a mother of these children. <laughs> they're just very impressive people. And from the moment I met them, even before seeing their performances, they're, they're really thoughtful and smart and brave and the kinds of things that you would want your children to be. Well, I mean, obviously, obviously, that's great to hear, but what was it like the other side? I mean, you're working with two incredible actors and actresses here. I mean, was, did you, are you, you're still in the early stage of your career. Are you still consciously kind of learning on set, sort of taking from those two who have been, who've been doing it for longer than you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you would be silly not to get to, to just like suck in as much as you can from like two huge wells of, of people. I mean, they're so good at what they do, like true craftsmen, you know, oh, craftswomen. Stop. No, no it's just true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me compliment you some more. <laughs> no, but it's, it's so true. Like, true. that's the best part of being an, an actor in so many ways. You get to like work with people who you really admire. So, yeah. And you yeah. don't have to ask all the questions. You can kind of just watch them do it. Like, yeah. and that's the best thing is just to kind of see them show up and be professional and like be on their stuff. And then they come in and just give and, and then be so nice afterwards. It's just, it's just the whole, you get to see the, they're the whole, they're the whole package. That sounds corny, but <laughs> they are the whole thing. And it's like, and also just to see two people of color doing it. I, 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 I don't often get, I mean, Joel Edison's playing my dad, Naomi Watts and Tim Roth are playing my dad, and they're all incredible. <laughs> but like, I've never seen really people that look like me do the job <laughs> like that. And it, so to be on set with these two, it was just, it, it just made me so happy. Yeah. But I do have to ask, Kelvin, how, how is your shoulder? Because I am worried. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. Is it okay? <laughs> I keep looking at it, Julia, you just kind of just, is it? Kind of <laughs> um, this was obviously, when I first read about this movie uh, a year ago, it was it was called Waves the Musical, and it was wrongly yeah. reported, right. misreported as a musical, but, which right. made me laugh having now seen it. Because I mean, it's very a very musical film, but sure. it's not a musical. No. Uh, anyway, if it was, what would your character's song be? I think uh, Tyler's would be like, it's hard out here for a pen. <laughs> 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 you can pick your own song. I just wanted to say it's hard out here for a pimp. I just felt like that's a good song to quote on Kim. Um, change gonna come. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, and that doesn't fit exactly, but like after the tragedy that we go through in the film, looking forward, I, I felt like he, he had a desire to move forward, right? Um, to recognize that life has to continue and that there's a possibility, I think his faith was a link to the possibility that there still can be sunshine, not knowing exactly how to get there, but just believing that there's a way forward. Um, yeah, that would be my song. Anybody else? Come on, songs. Um, you you on the spot, think, yeah, I know. You, do you have one? I don't have a great one. I, I, just, I just know. You got mad songs, though. I know, right? but they, yeah. it, it makes my brain freeze. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, it, it's more the kind of song that I think in the beginning she si would sing something along the lines of what she sings to him in the car. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's the style of music. It's, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not Kanye. You know what I mean? It's, she's yeah. back, you know, she's back a, 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 a decade or two before. That's the only um, song that's echoed in, in the movie. It, it, yeah, also, what a difference. They, fitting in with the narrative, what a difference a day makes. What a difference yeah. a day makes. Yeah. yeah, 24 little hours. I mean, I mean, I think, you know, that's, it's the fact that she gets to, she actually gets to sing that to him in mm -hmm. a very joking way, but that, that was, I think, very strategically put mm -hmm. in the film. And, and I think, you know, the second half of the film is very much, I'm like thinking like, do you know where you're going to? Like, it's very much like a very, yeah. try to figure, you know, not know what, what the day difference was. And, mm -hmm. And, uh, and trying to figure out what can you hope for in the future when you've lost, you know, when it seems that you've lost your hope, what, mm -hmm. what, do you, what can you look for in the future? 
But yeah, well, I should probably go because I think I've got way over time. But thank you so much for your time. Thank you. you killed it so thank much. You, you killed it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.